Hello folks and welcome. So today's video is about power keys, different shortcuts. Keyboard shortcut, launchers. I have uh, three applets and one desklet to show you today. Anyways, um, welcome folks. This video will be more than two minutes. All my videos have timelines and chapters and I do encourage that you subscribe. So today I'm not gonna give you system information but I will tell you what I'm filming in. It's 1920 by 1080. This is Linux Mint 21.1 Cinnamon. If you're brand new to the Cinnamon desktop, welcome. Today I'm gonna to talk about this key here. It's a very powerful one. As a matter of fact, if I double click, it'll shut my system immediately. I am gonna talk about this one here. This is a desklet. Let me get rid of this. And down here is an, three applets. All right. So in either case, folks, welcome. And then I'm gonna show one more that key right there. I assigned one key on my keyboard to do that function. So you may be familiar with this dialog box. It's the same one as you push the mint button and click that. All right. This also does the same thing. So you'll see this dialog box in many places today. I also have logout and lock screen as the other symbols here in my mint menu. So let me first focus in on what this is. This is a desklet. So is this calendar. So I'm not going to click the lock screen. I think that's self-explanatory. However, I'm going to click that and I can log out of the system or switch user or cancel. I can also restart or cancel. And I can also do the multifunction, shut down, restart, suspend or cancel. And again, lock screen. So let me first address what these are. This is a launcher. These are desklets. Desklets can be found or installed by right clicking on your screen and add desklets this way. You can also open up right click on your panel bar system settings and or go to your mint menu and click system settings. Desklets belong on your desktop. Applets belong on the panel bar. That's what applets are. I'll talk about those next. So I'm going to right click on my screen and add a desklet. If you've never worked with a desklet, let me approach it from that angle. I'm going to uninstall this. That was the icon over here. Then I'm going to turn off this calendar and I want you to note the position of it because when I reactivate it, those things are going to appear over here. This is not a, a desklet. This is a launcher. So it's going to be here. So I'm not going to uninstall my calendar, but I will make mention that you will have these three nonetheless, because they're not uninstallable. You can't remove them in other words. So I'm going to go to downloads. And since this is Linux mint, this should be easy to remember. Type in mint and you're going to see mint Two, the mint assistant. Install that. Then go to manage and then activate it by hitting plus. This has no configuration box. You can only turn it on and off and uninstall it or install it. It's sitting right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it right next to my launcher down here. Throw it down there and leave it there. You can move this around later. Now I'm going to turn my calendar on and it's going to appear here instead of here. That's what I was referring to earlier about deactivating and reactivating. Since I didn't install, uninstall this thing, um, it should still hold the configuration, and it did. But it appeared over here instead of here. This is highly configurable. I have shown this in previous videos. If you're a subscriber, you can find that. I'm going to turn this off now and move my calendar over here. So this and that are desklets. Again, this is a launcher. So downstairs, I have some other toys. I have three of these things. So let me first click them. So I have a simple shutdown, logout, restart, suspend, and lock screen. Anytime you mess with tools like that and you've got documents open, may I suggest you save them first. So the next icon looks like that. You can actually see the symbols on it. Quit, suspend, hibernate, restart, and logout. This one is actually configurable. And then you have this one that you can do the same actions except it has a timer starting at zero so it will perform a shutdown immediately or up to 120 minutes if I choose. So far so good? Okay. You can also right click on this and see other actions like configure for that one for instance and none for that one. So what's the best way to install your um, your applets since they belong on the panel bar. Well, you could click the panel bar and click that little puzzle piece called applets. You can also open up your system settings, whether you go through your mint menu 
or right click on your panel bar. It really doesn't matter. Applets belong on the panel bar. Desklets belong on the desk, if you can refer to that. Now, I'm going to click the download section and do a search. What I'm going to search for is shutdown. So I installed these three guys here. Okay, you will have a, a little down uh, one of these boxes. You just click that and it becomes installed. And then you need to turn them on. So uh, what I'm referring to is these guys are currently on. So I'm going to turn them off manually. So minus and minus. Now I only have one, which is this one. So this is the basic one. It has no configuration. For you to see these gearboxes light up, if they have one, if they have one, you need to activate them. So you notice this is grayed out. So I'm going to talk about that one next. So I'm going to turn this one now off because that's a fairly basic one and turn this one back on. That one has a gearbox. This is what that one looks like. And what's the gearbox look like? You got lots of options in here. And I'm going to make a mention of a bonus one right now. This is maybe important to you later on when you start creating launchers. There's your command for power off right there. I'm going to actually borrow this later. So just remember that. All my videos have timelines and chapters, by the way. So that's shutdown menu with icons. I'm going to turn that one off and then turn the last one on, shutdown timer. This again is one of these where you just slide the time and click. So there's three different things. So I'm going to act, reactivate all of them. So you can see them down here on the panel bar. I'm going to close this box. Now I'm going to talk about a keyboard shortcut. Right click system settings on your panel bar. You can go to the mint menu and do the same. Just go find your control center. Go click in the hardware section under keyboard. Open that up. Click the middle section, shortcuts. Click the system, shutdown. This is normally not assigned to F12. I'm going to clear it out on purpose. So it's currently at default. So the default command for shutdown is in addition to your little button down here is uh, the Linux Mint team put in control alt and end. How, how does that work? Hold down your control key, hold down the alt key and press the end key if you have those on your keyboard and they'll produce this. It's the same thing as clicking this key right here. So far so good? Okay. Now I have an unassigned space in here, two of them. What I'm going to do is click that and it says pick an accelerator. Another translation for that is pick an unused key on your keyboard. I have one key in mind. You can pick any. Well, almost any. I'm a, I have F12 in mind. F12 it is. It puts that information there and I depress it just to test it and it does work. So I'm going to use another command instead of using the red X to close this box and any other window in Mint is Alt F4. Then I'm going to depress my F12 to test that function. And of course I get the shutdown, the restart and cancel just like I have this same dialog box. So there's a keyboard shortcut. Again, you can assign any key you want. Well, almost any key. There's a couple of exceptions, but you get the idea. Now let's talk about this. What does this thing do? If I double click on this thing, it will actually terminate my video and shut down my system without asking. Yeah, this is a powerful command. This uses that particular command right here. System CTL space power off. All right, let's talk about launchers in general, briefly, briefly. So if I were to create a launcher, I'm gonna do one for top. Top is a process monitor. It's built into your Linux distributions. You can just run it like that, okay? I'll close that. So I'm just gonna put in T and then type in the command. You notice there's a check mark here. It says valid executable. Translation means it's a good command. In other words, it's it's a command that the system understands. So if I were to do an extra T, for instance, it goes to red. It doesn't know what to do with this. So far, so good. Okay, so that's a valid command. And this one does require terminal, so I'm gonna actually execute it. I don't care about the icon, and I'm gonna hit okay and say no, because I don't wanna place it in the system, and I wanna actually double click on it. Just wanted to let you see how you can create a very, very simple launcher. Now I'm going to create a launcher for this thing. 
right click create launcher all right I'll call that uh, I don't know test one whatever doesn't matter what name I gave it but I want this command that I wanted to borrow from this one right here remember I told you there's a configure box in here with a command that I was interested in later maybe well that one is right here I'm gonna borrow it by hitting highlighting it and copying it and I'm gonna paste it in here so system CTL all one word space power off is a command that will shut down my system without a prompt it's a very very uh, powerful command that I I would suggest don't take lightly because it's it will shut down your system immediately my recommendation is to shut down open um, you know documents or whatever you have all right next is Why do you think I'm doing that in uppercase letters? Because that is going to tell me that this is going to actually power the system down immediately. All right, now I have a name, check mark. I have a command, check mark, and comments are optional. Doesn't require a terminal. Uh, I could leave the rocket icon and I can also pick emojis if I like. You know, you can pick up whatever. And also you can go find this icon right here. So go in the search field and type in shutdown. You'll have other options. So if you can't see what that looks like, um, it looks like the um, wall switch in your home that has the slider up and down. That one is self-explanatory. And then I have another option of a black and white one. So I'm going to choose that one. All right. So if I continue this process, it's going to ask me a question. Do I want to place it in the other category next? And I'm going to answer that question. Yes. Otherwise, it'll just give me an icon on my desktop. Okay. So would you like to add this launcher to the menu, the Mint menu? It will be placed in the other category. I'm going to answer yes. So I get the icon here, which I can throw over here next to this one. These are both identical. You can see the commands are identical. System CTL par off. And system CTL par off. These are both identical icons. Since I answered that question, yes, the other category now contains that icon. I can use it for later on purposes, even after I delete this one. Now, I can do it old school. I can right click and add it to panel, desktop, or favorites. Favorites being this menu. Um, let me go find it. Or I could do it my way by dragging that in here and dragging it downstairs. These are also single click icons. Be careful with these. Since I wrote the launcher with that command, it doesn't ask for a prompt, unlike when you press this. You get an option. These, as soon as you click them, will start shutting down your system. So I'm going to perform a very dangerous command right now, at least to me, uh, because I don't want to shut this video off, is I'm going to actually move that icon. But to do it, I have to click and hold. This is very important. If you have one of these created and you clicked it once, it'll launch. But I'm going to click and hold with my USB based mouse to move it. Okay, now I'm gonna unpin it. And then I'm gonna pull this one out and drop it anywhere in here. Okay, the, I'm just saying you can do this. Just be very careful with these kind of launchers, especially for shutting down your system because they will perform those actions right away. So again, these are not forgiven as far as it gives you a prompt. It just will shut down the system immediately. So recap time. You have your, um, your desktops, your applets, your launchers, and one more thing, my keyboard shortcut F12. In my case, you can assign it to whatever keys on your system. There you have it, folks. A little tip there, too, about that command. You can retrieve it using this particular configure box. It's right here. Thank you for watching.